welcome back to the channel. Ryan Nordahl here with Epic Whitetail Habitat, LLC. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like and a share. And hey, any of the products or tools you see me using in these videos, you can always find links in the description below. And visit our website. That will also be in the description below. But today, I want to talk about the top five cheap and very effective Habitat projects that you can implement yet this summer on your property if your budget is limited, time is limited, what have you. The biggest myth out there is that you need to have deep pockets, lots of money to do the habitat projects and improvements on a piece of property that you see on TV, social media, things like that. Guys, Nothing could be further from the truth. You do not need deep pockets. And you don't need a ton of land. I've managed properties as small as five acres. And the clients have been very successful on those properties as well. But here are the five things that you can start to do on your property right now today. You know, mock scrapes. Mock scrapes can be anything. I prefer a licking vine. Drop down from a branch of a tree, you know, tied off with, with paracord, you know, relatively cheap. I've got a little bit of time into it. I've got maybe a few cents worth of paracord tied off on that licking vine, tied off on the branch. You know, you can take and you can cut off with just a simple handsaw. I use my Hoyman handsaw. Go out there, cut an oak, small oak off, or whatever. I prefer trees that hold their leaves well after I've cut them down. I find that white oak or a red oak get the job done for me, but I take it, I plant that tree, I literally cut it off about a four inch three to four inch diameter oak tree. I'll eliminate all the bottom branches. I'm a, I want to get that oak tree in the ground. I just have a post hole digger that I bought at an auction for very cheap. I bought it for five bucks at a local farm auction. Dig that hole, get it down, oh, at least two feet, if not a little bit more, so it's solid, rigid, everything. I point those licking branches back toward my stand because the idea behind that is, is when a buck comes in, he's most generally going to come in at that licking branch from the side. And with those licking branches pointed back toward your stand, he's got his head up into that licking branch, giving pointed away from you, giving you the perfect opportunity to draw your bow and get that shot off. You're wasting his time, but it gives you perfect opportunity. Slip that arrow in there quick. It doesn't have to be overcomplicated. I don't use any synthetic scents, scents bought in the store, whatever. You can if you want to. I'm not saying you can't. But I don't use any scents at all. Plus, if I'm using a vine, I like to stagger them a little bit, you know. Some of my vines hang down as low as my belly button. I'm six foot two, you know. I want every deer, depending where the licking vine is located on my properties, I want every deer on the property to hit that particular vine. Fawns, does, yearling bucks, and the mature bucks that we're after, of course. But then I have scrapes too where I'll set them that are about anywhere from sternum high to chin high on me for those large bucks and mature does that are gonna be licking them. But the real resilient thing behind a licking branch is deer use them year round. The scraping of the ground, the scrape phase where you actually see the pawing of the ground is only done in a short window of time during the pre-rut throughout the stages of the rut really. But they're going to use that licking branch pretty much year-round. It's, it's their calling card, if you will. Another thing you can do is you can create browse pockets. Taking your handsaw again, or if you have a chainsaw, a little bit of gas, 
you know, a tank full of gas can go a long way in just a day's time. Go through, take some of them smaller trees. I'm not suggesting you go out and cut any larger trees, do a drastic clear cut or anything like that, guys. Take all the chainsaw precautions that there are, safety measures, you know, even when it comes to just using a handsaw, there is a fa safety factor in there. And if you're not comfortable doing it, by all means, don't do it and contact a professional. Contact a logger. I always suggest getting a logger in on your property if you feel that there is viable timber sale on your property. That puts money back in your pocket. How cool is that? It doesn't have to be expensive, and logging can put money back in your pocket. Then, when you have the loggers in there, they're already there. A lot of them have bulldozers and the equipment to clear a little food plot for you. Or, you get into, I've done it before, you get into a situation where you just have to clear 10 trees, and boom, you've got it. A nice quarter acre kill plot didn't cost you hardly anything you can leave the stumps actually kill them off a little bit of tore down or garland or you can leave them you know I've I've left a few maple trees mineral stump get that maple tree you cut it off flush all of a sudden you got all those sprout stumps coming up that's what's called a mineral stump natural mineral mineral stump hey then I can go ahead and I can create a small water hole. Yes, I know that I preach about using 100 gallon, 300 gallon water holes, but hey guys, sometimes I understand that we just don't have the money to maybe go out and buy, you know, however many tubs or stock tanks, 100 gallon, 300 gallon stock tanks, they can be expensive. There's no question about it. A lot of farms around where I live that have, you know, 50-gallon barrels, plastic barrels around. You just cut one in half, bury it to the lip, fill it with water, get it in a nice location that is secure for the deer, but easy to get to because, hey, sometimes I've had to bucket water into those water holes from my truck. I've had to actually carry buckets of water to them because they're, they're hard to get to, but yet, it's just a short distance of a walk to be able to fill them. Hey, I think we could all use the exercise. What a trade-off, huh? You know, and really, guys, those are my top five things that I recommend that don't cost you an arm and a leg, and they're highly, highly effective. I think you should give them a try if you haven't already. Hey, if you found this video to be valuable, give it a like and a share. Again, if you haven't already, Really appreciate it if you subscribe. We're closing in on a thousand subscribers on this channel, which is great. Thank you guys that have already signed up as subscribers to my channel. Really appreciate it. When we get a thousand subscribers, hey, we're going to have a link uploaded to our website. You can go to that, fill in your contact information. We'll have a little contest. I'll give away a Tacticam reveal camera at that time and possibly some domain seed. So you want to check that, that out, and you'll want to stay tuned, because I'll announce when we get to 1,000 subscribers. Then at that time, we'll announce, officially announce the contest. So thank you very much for tuning in. Good luck with all your habitat projects again this summer. And hey, keep living the dream, and God bless you all. Thanks for joining me.